Hey, what's up everybody out there, YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Welcome back once again. Well, today I'm going to bring up a subject that's probably the most heated subject on the entire internet. Which video card company should you choose? AMD or NVIDIA? Big question, big decision. How does one come about making a decision to buy these cards? Traditionally, ATI cards, in my opinion, look better in games, but NVIDIA cards actually play games better. Now, first of all, I'll go over some of the features that you get with using an ATI now AMD card. If you use an AMD video card and you're using an AMD CPU, the two work together much better than trying to put an NVIDIA card in that same type of system. And on the other hand, if you're using an Intel motherboard and you have an NVIDIA video card, there's nothing on that that's actually helped making it run any better between the GPU and the CPU. So AMD and that platform for gaming, I think has something right now that's, that's really good to offer. Because if you use an AMD CPU and use the AMD video card, you get to combine the power of the GPU and the CPU together. That makes for a powerful gaming platform. Now, Intel CPUs, on the other hand, as we talked about in our last video, Intel CPUs are a very, very high-end CPU, very pricey. Which comes into, if you are really just a gamer and you're not using your computer to do business whatsoever, the AMD solution is probably going to be a better bet for you. But now let's pop over and let's talk about NVIDIA. If you do more things on your computer than just gaming, you might want to encode video, um, you know, use the features of CUDA and that type of stuff. I feel that NVIDIA card offers more all around as an overall card than just a gaming card than ATI. For strictly gaming, I think the ATI card is great. But if you want to do stuff that's past beyond gaming and you want to delge out into, you know, doing stuff that has some photo rendering and that type of stuff, I really do think that the NVIDIA card swings bigger in that direction. Those are the two different things of it. If you're out there and you're a fan and you, you put all your posts in my comments telling me, oh, F you this, F you that, F you this, it really makes no sense at all. And I'm just going to tell you that your fanboy mentality makes me want to puke. It's ridiculous, it's childish, and it makes no sense. If you like a video card company, you should be liking them for reasons that are solid and substantial. It shouldn't be just like, oh, I'm a fan of this camp and so now I hate this company. Choosing between an NVIDIA and an ATI card most of the time is a personal choice. ATI has traditionally been pretty good for games. NVIDIA, on the other hand, though, has been good for games and other stuff. And now that NVIDIA has the hold of their new physics technology, it all depends on how the market fluctuates going with this. As of today, NVIDIA actually made a big news release saying that all their new CUDA stuff is going to work under x86 architecture. So this could also help the NVIDIA fan base a little bit more. But really, at the end of the day, when it comes down to choosing between ATI or NVIDIA, it seems to really be based on personal choice. For most of the comments that I get on my channels, people don't seem to really look at the facts or anything else. It's just like, hey, I hate AMD. Hey, I hate NVIDIA. This is not a really good way at all to judge buying a video card. If you're going to go out and decide between ATI and NVIDIA, first decide what you want to do with your card. Am I just a gamer? Am I only playing games? Or am I somebody that's going to use my computer for much more than gaming? Those are some of the decisions that you need to make. So I know this video, I don't go into a lot of depth about all the you know, special features. I mean, I guess I can go a little bit into that. You know, For ATI, for their iFinity, you only need to use one card. We bop over to NVIDIA for their 3D surround. This takes two cards. ATI, currently right now with the 5970, is the fastest card on the market. It's also a dual card smacked into one, which some people say is an unfair comparison, but I don't feel that it is because when it's a high end video card market, you just want to get the best that you can get your hands on. So, in the future, you're out looking for stuff to buy, just really pay attention to what you want to get and what you want to do with your card. NVIDIA has some great features for theirs. ATI has some great features for theirs. You have to decide which one of these features suits you best and then make your decision. Drop the fanboy mentality, drop the BS, and stick to the facts.